when a mysterious new planet appeared in the solar system, causing all sorts of temporal anomalies around it. River was called as a consultant on the Saturnius, a ship especially built to investigate the phenomenon. As they were on course, the ship crashed into the Seventh Doctor's TARDIS. The resulting impact between the two ships and the gravitational pull of the planet caused reality to warp about them, trapping them into a living paradox. To resolve this, River and the Doctor, who she didn't recognize due to the paradox affecting her memory, worked together to detach the TARDIS from the ships. River was the one to actually do it after the Doctor was killed in this alternate reality. She forgot precisely what happened but retained enough consciousness to avoid impact and grant the ship a safe landing on the new planet, which she recognized as a devastated future Earth. While wandering amongst the desolation, she stumbled into Rachel Burroughs, an android and the only survivor. Audio. The unknown. From her. River recovered a date and a place, but no indication of what happened to Earth. She then traveled back in time to when it happened, where Rachel and her adoptive parents, Emmett and Lisa Burroughs. There she witnessed the arrival of a temporal wave, killing every living being on Earth when the respective time zones reached the hour 17.29. She tried to save the life of the Burroughs, but with nowhere to go and no visible solution, was ultimately convinced by Emmett and Lisa just to boost Rachel's circuits, thus ensuring her survival until River herself would find her. She then had a final meal with the Burroughs, and just moments before they died, she picked up on her vortex manipulator the signal of a direction for the wave and left to continue her investigation. Audio. 529. She followed the signal to the firm Golden Futures, where she applied as a temp, and was appalled at finding out the sixth doctor as the managing director, holding the majority of shares in the company. She found out that the company had been taken over by Sparivores, and they were planning to destroy Earth to replace it with a duplicate of their own creation, Elysium only to sell its surface and gather new humans to feed on. She confided in the Doctor who, realizing he had been duped and trapped, helped her into uncovering the conspiracy and deflecting the cancellation wave from Earth to Elysium. For doing so, however, the Doctor suggested letting one of the Sparivore larvae to feed on him, which would have caused him great harm and even possibly making him regenerate. To spare him, River then deflected the larvae on the Golden Future's shareholders. Unfortunately, this failed to provide enough energy to successfully deflect the wave, and because of it different alternate Earths begin to pop up, threatening to disrupt reality. River kissed the doctor with her lipstick, making him forget what happened to spare him the guilt, carried him to this TARDIS and sent him away, audio, world enough and time, while she remained there in an attempt to fix it. She used the energy of her vortex manipulator to feed the circuits and managed to stop the process thus reducing the disruption to only two alternate Earths fighting for existence. Her vortex's energy was depleted as a result, but in that nick of time the Seventh Doctor arrived and River snuck aboard his TARDIS. Surprised by the Seventh Doctor as she was trying to depart, she was able to convince him to help, and together they tracked the origin of the disruption on Earth, London, in 1703, just before the Great Storm. To her amazement and worry, the sixth doctor was there too, investigating on his own, and had found that two young human lovers, Isaac George and Sarah Dean, had been targeted and manipulated by the Sparivores. She tried in vain to tell him to renounce his investigation. Later, she and the seventh doctor tracked down a nest of Sparivores at the house of Sarah's employer, Sir Robert Harley, and discovered their queen had been feeding on Sarah's discarded choices in life. The Seventh Doctor left River there in cuff to be found and imprisoned as a thief. He didn't trust her, and the Sixth Doctor only visited her in prison to retrieve her manipulator and keep her out of his business. She only regained her freedom thanks to her cellmate, Daniel Defoe, just before the Great Storm, and reached the doctors as they tried to intervene on Isaac and Sarah's meeting, the Sixth to help it, the Seventh to prevent it. The three of them were captured by the Queen of the Sparivores, and the sixth doctor sacrificed himself, staying behind to be devoured so that the other two could reach golden futures. The seventh doctor was ready to cancel Isaac and Sarah from history to solve the crisis, but River persuaded him to wait long enough for her to tell the truth to the couple and let them decide to freely sacrifice themselves. 
She then went once again back the sixth doctor to his TARDIS and sent him away. She also tried to make the seventh doctor forget with crumpets, tea, and her lipstick. But he refused it all and in the end she had to knock him unconscious and wipe out his memory before departing. Audio, The Eye of the Storm